Welcome to Hawks Football Weekly. I'm your host, Brain Freeman, with Kenny Lakehead coach Charlie Drum. The Hawks are back in the win column, snapping a two-game slide this past Friday with a 35-21 win over Lampasas. And coach, looking back at the football game, at one point early second quarter, you were down 21-7, came back to win the game, as we said, by a final of 35-21. Just how resilient was your football team this past week? Oh, I'm very. That's what we talked about. Very proud of our football team. Last week, we were in a precarious position. You know, Lampasas came out playing well. You know, we go down 14-7, they get an onside kick, immediately throw a touchdown pass. So we're real proud of our guys scoring 28 unanswered points and pulling out the much-needed victory. Was there a specific turning point in the football game for you? Uh, to me, it's kind of overlooked in the box score. It was tied 21-21. Lamp passes was driving. Came in McDonough, came up with an interception about at the five-yard line, and, kind of, and we went into halftime tied instead of perhaps down by three or seven. Last week when previewing the game, we spoke highly about Ace Whitehead, the freshman quarterback, looked really good in that first half, able to shut him and the rest of that Badger offense down. What were the adjustments that you made defensively? Well, we challenged our defensive line. He, he's a, he's gonna be, he is a good player right now, and um, just getting pressure on him. We ended up, I think, sacking him five times, and mm -hmm. three or four of those were in the second half. So our defensive ends, defensive tackles did a good job. Um, getting more pressure on them in the second half. Now looking at the play of your offense, you had about 385 yards on Friday. Micah St. John, your leading rusher, over 100 yards, a couple of touchdowns. But again, a slow start for you on offense. What did it take to get that turn in the right direction? Well, the field conditions weren't real good. You know, we were playing on grass. It was kind of a, a slop fest. So I think it took our, our backs and our linemen a while to adjust. It's the first game we played on grass, albeit, you know, it was more like mud mm -hmm. by the second half. But I think we adjusted well and um, really turned on the Jets in the second half. Well, now three and two here on the season at the halfway point now of the 2017 year. Uh, how well is your team holding up physically, mentally at this stage of the season? Well, we're slowly getting healthier. You know, our hope was to, you know, win these next two ball, non-district ball games and get healthy at the same time. So we're halfway there. So hopefully next week we can play well again and stay healthy and get ready for our district play. That's now three games in a row, by the way. You played in really competitive ball games. You won this past one. I know, obviously, you'd rather have the wins over Giddings and Wimberley, but those two games, you know, what did you learn from those two, and did that help you win the game this past Friday? Yeah, we talked to our kids about that. You know, you like to win those games against um, Wimberley and Giddings, but I think it prepared us for that position we were in in the second quarter. You know, we didn't blame each other or anything like that. You know, it was just, let's get this right and get going. If you bank at Frost, we'll help keep your money safe. If you use your Frost debit card, the chip will make it more secure. If there's a suspicious transaction on your card, you'll get an alert. If you do, you can freeze your card with the Frost app. If you lose your phone, Touch ID login will help keep the app secure. Of course, if all you need is help from people who care, we've got that too. Welcome back to Hawks Football Weekly. Brain Freeman with Kenya Lake head coach Charlie Drum. Coming up this Friday, the Hawks close out non-district play against Austin Aikens there at Kenya Lake. It is a 1-3 Eagle team coming into the game on Friday and losers of three straight coach. So, so the Eagles have had their struggles recently. Uh, what are your initial impressions of your opponent this Friday? Well, they're playing their best football now. They lost a close game to a very good um, McCallum team two weeks ago. They were off um, this past week. Mm -hmm. so. They're going to be healthy and, and ready to go. You mentioned the fact that the Aikens was off this past Friday. In your experience, what kind of advantage does that serve for the team that's coming off the extra week of rest? Well, it can be an advantage or a disadvantage. It depends on how the kids handle it. Mm -hmm. You know, different coaches have different philosophies. They might, you know, take a few days off, shorten up, try and get healthy, and others might, you know, want to work more. And they've had two weeks to prepare for our offense, so we expect the best from them. You look at the offense for the Eagles and uh, pretty balanced offensively. Nick Cagle, the quarterback, has already thrown for over 800 yards this season. Good touchdown interception ratio of 8 to 1. The quarterback, Malcolm Rogers, averaging nearly 8 yards per carry. He has four rushing scores on the season. You've played some really good offenses over the past three weeks. Giddings, Wimberley, last week, Land Passes. What kind of challenges does Aiken's offense present? You know the same thing, they're dangerous. They can throw the ball, run the ball, they want to do it 50-50. Probably the biggest thing we're worried about is depth-wise. You know, we're only going to suit out about 35 kids, mm -hmm. whereas, you know, Austin Aikens being a 6A school is going to suit out anywhere from 50 to 60. Mm -hmm. So depth is certainly 
going to be an issue for us. On defense, the Eagles are giving up more than 34 points per game. What do you see from them on that side of the ball? Well, they're very athletic. Um, they run around, you know, get to the football. They've given up some big plays. It's kind of been their Achilles heel, so we'll ho hopefully exploit that on Friday. Now, you mentioned the disadvantage you have in the numbers game in terms of uh, depth, but you won this game a year ago in Austin, 42-20. to What do you recall about that game? Uh, I remember Aikens, we had trouble with them offensively initially, and we kind of settled down defensively. Offensively, we kind of had our way with them. Um, so we look for them to make some adjustments from last year and do something different up front defensively. Now, obviously, your goal is to win the game on Friday, but this is your final non-district test as well. So any kinks that you want to work out, you can do so uh, coming up against the Eagles. What do you want to see out of your football team? Well, the main thing is stay healthy. Again, you know, this past Saturday was the first time we haven't had a kid have to go get an x-ray or go to the clinic on mm -hmm. Saturday morning and get the win. So hopefully get the win and most importantly, stay healthy and get ready for district starting up next in the next two weeks. To get that win, what are your keys for the game? Um, taking care of the football and not giving up big plays. You know, that's kind of been our, our, our creed for our defense. And, you know, we did a pretty good job of it the other day, or the other night against Lampasas. So not giving up big plays. They got some playmakers, number 21-5. Their quarterback's a real solid player as well. All right, Coach, good luck on Friday. All right, thank you. Again, Kendra Lake taking on Austin Aikens this Friday at 7.30 from Hawk Stadium. We'll have live coverage of the game for you on hawksnetwork.com starting at 7.15. For head coach Charlie Drum, I'm Brain Freeman. This has been Hawks Football Weekly. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.